Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today, we're going to use our better than store-bought cookbooks and we're going to make turkey bouillon cubes. They're not exactly cubes, they are rather thinnish squares. But these dried morsels of concentrated beef or chicken essence pack a lot of flavor. Although it's been long known that our ancestors, both in the New World and England, made something similar called pocket soup. Because travelers could carry the makings of broth in dried form, it hadn't occurred to us to reproduce it until our friend Barbara Kafka pointed out the feasibility of further dehydrating beef essence, or chicken extract for that matter, or turkey like I'm going to do, to make cubes with a minimum of further labor. So that's what we're going to do today. Basically, we're going to take turkey stock and make turkey bouillon that can be stored on the shelf. So, if you have any questions, post them below, or join us Thursday night for the Homestead Honey Hour on PrepperBroadcasting.com. And uh, we're going to have a guest of the um, Hillbilly Prepper Gals, and I'll be your host. Hope to see you there. Hello, fellow YouTubers. Bear Prepper here. Today, we're going to try it one more time. We're going to make bouillon cubes. So, what I have here is about a 10 pound turkey with your normal stuff, you know, your celery, your carrots, your onions, your thyme, your parsley, your bay leaves. Um, I got a little rosemary in there because I like that, a little sage. And uh, I'm just cooking it till the turkey falls off the bone. It's probably been three hours now. So, I'm going to cook it probably for another two hours, and then I'm going to strain it. And then I'm going to cook it again and reduce it to 50%, but I'll come back to you when I get to that. Okay, I took my turkey and my carrots and everything out, and I moved the meat into another pot so I can make some uh, turkey noodle soup and some of the broth. And so this broth I have. I'm going to cook it down to 50%, and I'm using my fork as a guide of where it is, so when it gets to be about here, then I shut it off, and I'm going to strain it through a fine cheesecloth. Got my turkey, I got five pints of turkey in there, plus turkey noodle soup for mom and me. Got the rest of my bacon in there. I got this bacon done. Been a busy day. Okay, there's yesterday's makings. And as you see here, my ice machine broke. It's leaking everywhere. By the way, the uh, mixer is working beautifully after replacing the gear. It wasn't easy, but got it done. So now it's time to work on the ice machine that just broke. But let's get back to our bouillon. It cooked down yesterday. And uh, now I have to cook it down at least another 50%. And I have to cook it down until it coats the spoon and then go past it. So we've got less than half the depth of the spoon. I don't know if you can see that real well. So that's what we got to cook it down to. So you're just going to simmer it. You're not going to boil it in big boils. You just want it to simmer bubble. And uh, um, let's cook it down. Let's make some bouillon. And it's turkey bouillon. Okay, that's what a simmer looks like. And I've probably taken it further than I need to. But I want to make sure it doesn't run on me. There you go. Once you've reduced it all the way down, line a pan with foil, pour it in. It is still boiling hot. And look, it's not moving. I think we may be on to something. I'll get back to you when it goes in the dehydrator. Okay, I started with 16 cups of broth. And this is all I have left. See how thin it is? Kind of hard to tell. But it's just... A really thin sheet. That's 16 cups. 
So we're going to dehydrate it and then grind it into the power. I try to take it off the foil, but it is just a little gooey. So I'm going to leave it on the foil and let it dehydrate that way. And if it gets runny again, at least it won't go everywhere like the last time. The last time I did this, I had all my bouillon all over the counter. It was horrible. But I didn't give up and I'm trying again. We'll show you when we're done dehydrating and let you know how long it took. Okay, there's my beef bouillon. It's still, it's warm right now. So it's a little bendable. And as you can see, it's a little oily. I don't think it's uh, something I'm going to be able to grind up. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a cup of water at a time to see how many cups these little one, one inch squares, an eighth of an inch thick, will make in broth. I'm guessing three. But we shall see. I'll get back with you. So what we have here is I have four cups of boiling water. This was 16 cups of turkey broth. Had to think. It's been a while it's taken me to do this. And I'm able to get it in a jelly jar, which is, what, four ounces? Matter of fact, plum from 2009. Reuse those lids for these kind of things. So what I'm going to do is I've got one cube in my bowl, and I like to thank my daughter for my rubber whisk so people don't have to hear the metal scraping on metal anymore. So I'm going to pour in one cup of water, and we're going to let this dissolve. And then I'm going to taste it and see how brothy it is. And we're just going to keep adding water till we find out how much broth this one cube will make. It's been five minutes. And as you can see, I still have half of what I started with. And that broth is already too strong. So, I'm going to add another cup of boiling water and now we have two cups in there and I'm gonna go ahead and let it keep dissolving and I'll get back to you in another five minutes almost completely dissolved it is a, a slow dissolver so keep that in mind when you're using this it might be better if the water stayed boiling but this water is pretty cool by now. And there's just a little bit more to dissolve. And I tasted it. And I would say that is perfect. So each one of these cubes is two cups of bouillon. And this one, of course, would probably be three because it's bigger than one inch. A one, a half inch. One inch. I think that was half an inch. Let me find a measuring tape. Okay, this one is almost the same size as the one I used. It was probably like that. So, I'm going to measure that. Three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. So, a three quarter by three quarter inch square makes two cups of bouillon. And I have a lot of... Well, I know someone's going to ask me how many there are, so let me count them. Okay, I counted them because I know one of you are going to ask how many. Seventy-two. So you have enough bouillon for 144 cups of turkey broth doing it this way. I'm thinking because you concentrate it down so far that the flavor just really intensifies. And when it's diluted, it's still just as intense. Now, I mean, you can even tell just by looking at it. The broth I started with was not this dark. It was much lighter than that. Now, mind you, my broth has absolutely no sodium in it. So, if you were to add sodium, you could probably get away with a little lighter broth mixture. But without sodium, I would want it more intense to kind of compensate for that salt missing. So, definitely, which would you rather store? 16 quarts, cups, 16 cups, 
or four ounces. Just saying. Blessings.